What's going on guys? Josh here with Alpha Omega Survival. Today we're going to take a look at a unique vintage belt tool called the Skatchet. Let's get into it. So I know you guys are probably thinking, what tarnation? Because that's exactly what I was thinking when my chief walked up to me and said, I've got this tool that you need to do a video on. So I said, all right, bring it on. He said, it's called a Skatchet. And like you, I'm thinking, what in the world is a Skatchet? Here it is. This is the Skatchet. Turns out it's a combination between a skinner, a skinning knife, and a hatchet. So in 1962, Mr. Herbert Frisbee obtained the patent for his invention that he called the Skatchet. He wanted a belt tool that hunters and survivalists could take with them into the woods that could do the jobs of both a knife and a hatchet. It's got a small hole here that can be converted into a handle using a, a stick or a piece of wood, and it's got a curved cutting blades. If you have a full-size hunting knife, it's gonna do a better job than this. And if you carry a full-size hatchet, it's also going to do a better job. Basically what it boils down to is this is a multi-tool. It's not going to do either of the jobs that it's designed to do as good as a dedicated hunting knife or a dedicated hatchet. Just like any other multi-tool, it's going to do an okay job at everything. Let's take this tool into the workbench and get a closer up view of the Skatchet. All right, so we're in here at the workbench. Let's get up close and personal with the Skatchet. So here's the Skatchet. Comes with a nice cowhide leather sheath. Go ahead and pop that off, take a look at it. Set the tool aside. So the sheath, um, it's pretty straightforward, cowhide leather. It's got some stitching and some uh, rivets here holding it together. But fairly basic sheath. When I got it, it actually was pretty dried out and cracked in some places. Some slices there. Um, I actually took some um, saddle soap, cleaned it up, and threw some uh, mink oil on there to rehydrate it. And so far, it's come out looking really nice. All right, so we'll set that aside. And the tool itself. So here's the Skatchet. It's got a cutting edge, about four and a half inches here. Across the head this way is three and a half inches. Of course, there's your gutting hook. The length of the tool overall from the cutting edge to the hammerhead is six inches and the hole where the handle threads in is three quarters of an inch across. This tool weighs in at 16 ounces so exactly one pound without the sheath and with the sheath it weighs 17 and three quarter ounces so just over a pound uh, with the sheath there. Unfortunately this tool is no longer in production. I was able to find a couple of pieces online and they're selling for anywhere between 80 and 125 dollars plus shipping. All right, let's get back out there and test it. All right, so we're out here at the wood pile. We're gonna put the Skatchet to the test. So what tools is the Skatchet modeled after? It's gonna take the place of a bushcraft knife and it's gonna take the place of a hatchet. That's what it's designed to do. But we're gonna test those two features. All right, so what does a good bushcraft knife need to be able to do? It needs to be sturdy, needs to be able to slice wood, needs to be able to do some small chopping tasks. Um, think like breaking down firewood. Obviously, you're going to use a hatchet for the larger pieces, but once you get down small, breaking down your kindling and tender, um, a good bushcraft knife needs to be able to break some small sticks down. Making feather sticks, um, it needs to be able to skin game. I'm not going to do that in this video. Hopefully, later on down the line, uh, when we get closer to hunting season, I'll be able to do some uh, skinning with the Skatchet. So let's take it down here close and see what kind of uh, progress we can get with it. All right, so let's take a look at the Skatchet's ability to slice. So ideally trying to make a small feather stick here. It's a little bit cumbersome, a little bit heavy. And you don't have that same directional motion. You kind of have to go here. Let's try and use the, this curved part of the blade to cut or to slice some small pieces of wood. It 
is sharp that is for sure sharp enough to do the job the biggest thing is really your control factor oh, see that slip there very hard to control this really using almost two thumbs here to keep control well you can see that it can be done but the control is very, very limited um, trying to make a, a feather stick here. So a smaller knife is obviously gonna be better than a bigger knife, but not as good as your dedicated knife would be. All right, so let's take a look at chopping. And let's do uh, some more small chopping here. All right, she does a pretty good job at chopping these small pieces. So I imagine you could take some smaller limbs just using it with a hammer grip like this. All right, so I've got these small sticks that I just chopped and let's go ahead and see how small I can process them down with the gadget. All right, here we go. Basically, all this is doing, guys, is, is opening up that wood and revealing that dry inner stuff. It's going to help it light. That's all you would do this for. So, it seems to do a pretty good job of processing the smaller the smaller kindling here you remember tender is the real fine stuff and then you move into the little bit bigger stuff here I mean these are probably half inch sticks quarter inch sticks and I'm able to chop them in small pieces and then kind of baton them down into small pieces that would catch a lot easier there we go so does a pretty good job all right so now that we've looked at the features of the scatchet that would replace your knife let's take a look at the hatchet part of it what does a good bushcraft hatchet need to be capable of well it needs to be sturdy right doesn't need to be something cheap you need to be able to fell small trees with it if the need be now it's not an ax, okay? So you're not gonna be trying to fell redwoods or any, any huge trees or anything like that, right? It's gonna be small trees, small pieces of wood. If you've got some small pieces of firewood that you need to break down and split, you should be able to do that. Something that's too big for your bushcraft knife to handle. Obviously you need to break it down so then you can make that uh, kindling and tender. Um, you need to be able to baton a hatchet, in my opinion. My hatchet uh, actually has a hammer head on the back, so it's a little bit more difficult to baton than a, a flat head would be. Um, but the hammer head comes in handy if you've got tent pegs or if you do have nails or something like that, you can use it in that fashion. Um, in the past, I've used the hatchet to chop bone while skinning an animal. Obviously, I'm not skinning an animal in this video, as I said earlier, but hopefully I can incorporate that into a video later on. All right, so let's get down here close and take a look at what the Skatchet can do. All right, so I've got this handle here that I made from a broom handle, um, carved down one end, and it works perfectly for the Skatchet. All right, so we'll insert here. I'm gonna thread it on real tight. And I'm even gonna knock it on a piece of wood here to get it even tighter. All right, there we go. We got the scatchet on a handle. Now, when you look at the actual patent sheet, it says that it is designed for a 17 inch handle. So that's what I've cut it at here. All right, so this is gonna be an ideal handle. Obviously, uh, when you're out in the bush, you're gonna have this on your belt. Without this, the idea is that you can create a handle with just the scatchet 
and then use it as a hatchet. We'll do that here in a minute. Right now we've got the ideal setup here. We're gonna do some chopping, and then we'll create our own handle, all right? All right, so I'm gonna to attempt to take this branch right here with the scatchet. We'll see if I can do it. This is a piece of cypress, softer wood, shouldn't be too hard with a hatchet. We'll see what the sketch it'll do, all right? Not too bad. Yeah, she's not loose. So I'd say it did a pretty good job. It's a little bit awkward because the blade is so far out from the handle, but it doesn't feel too different from a hatchet because if you think of the hatchet head, the blade is kind of out here as well. Just a little bit lighter than a normal hatchet head would be. All right. So I'm going to try and cut this branch where that white mark is here and try and use that for a natural handle for this sketching. I'm going here, chop it, and then we'll work it into a handle. All right, so we've got the natural handle here with green wood. Let's do some chopping. Pretty sturdy with the green wood. It's a little bit awkward with a curved handle though. Alright. Okay, so Still came loose a little bit, but it grabs a whole lot better with the green wood. So it doesn't, it definitely didn't wear out the uh, threads and you can still tighten it down. That moisture just grabs a hold of the threads. So green wood, I would say definitely works better than the dry wood handle. All right guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and see 
if we can process some wood uh, for a fire with the scaffold. So I'm shorting the handle a little bit just so I can get in here close. And so it's a little bit more usable. So let's see if we can do this. Broke our brick. I think this is pretty well evidenced of what I said earlier. The Skatchet is a multi-tool and it does not do as good of a job as a dedicated hatchet or a knife. Now sure, we could probably mess around with this for a while because I do have a split starting to form here and get it to split and work it down. But what I'm gonna go ahead and say is that the scatchet taking small pieces of wood smaller than this my hatchet would take this no problem i just split a bunch of wood yesterday using my axe and my hatchet and had no issue whatsoever with pieces of wood with my hatchet like this obviously in a pinch i'd rather have this than nothing but if i've got the choice i'm going with a belt knife and i'm going with a hatchet a pretty cool tool but it just doesn't quite get the job done as well as the stuff you should be carrying when you go into the woods all right guys so that's the sketchit um like i said earlier in the video it's a multi-tool it's not going to do as good of a job as a knife or a hatchet and that's okay that's what it's made for it's made for an emergency backup tool that you can take with you in the woods and to be honest with you my thoughts I like it but I'm definitely not gonna traipse off into the into the woods with just this on my belt um, I think you'd have to be stupid or making a video to do that but for what it is it's pretty cool and uh, I'll definitely find a way to use it. You know, I'll definitely try and incorporate it into some more videos. Um, but as you can see, uh, a little bit clumsy to slice with. And as far as processing firewood, um, this is not the tool to do it with if you're trying to cut wood for the winter. Make an emergency fire, sure, absolutely. <clears throat> but hopefully you've got the correct tools with you in that, in that case. Uh, but guys, I really wanna thank you for watching this video. I really wanna thank you for subscribing and liking clicking that bell uh, so i appreciate you guys and check back in next time with alpha mega survival thanks